Hey, thanks for checking out my recent video if you did. We are currently in the uh, the skeleton spooky uh, saga. And what we're doing here is we're trying to get this fancy HD rig onto this low poly dude. So that when we play the game uh, and we have our guy run around, you'll see on the right hand screen there, he's kind of running around. He could do some punches and kicks even. And if we run over here and we get one of these guns, he could start aiming at people and shooting at stuff. And we'll have that all animated with the low poly guy. So that's our goal, basically, to get this dude over here walking around on these bones. And uh, I explained in my last video how I was having a little bit of difficulty with that. But one of our uh, viewers, Ian N., said that there actually may be a simple solution to this. So I'm really excited to try that out. So I'm just gonna copy that here. And hey, let's give it a go because a simple solution would be awesome. If not, I did reach out to some folks on Fiverr who for some money, maybe will be able to help me. Let's see. So he says, make sure the rig on the character is set to humanoid. Okay. So let's see where I would do that. Rig. Is this a rig? I just, hmm. Is this the rig? Nolan avatar. Configure avatar. Is this where we say it's humanoid? Hmm. Not exactly sure where we would set that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too, not too sure about that. Let's go back to the scene. Okay, so we just need to set the rig as humanoid. <laughs> I guess I'm having some trouble in just the first step, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Confirm the rig is humanoid. Oh, here it says rig. But I'm not seeing an option for humanoid. I mean, let's think about that. A rig is just a set of bones and a mesh, right? <clears throat> so the bones wouldn't have a setting, but maybe the mesh would? Mesh helmet. Controller, maybe? Hmm. All right, so I'm not exactly sure where I would set that to humanoid. So maybe if you're watching, Ian, you could give me a little bit of a tip with respect to where I put in that section. But let's just continue because uh, maybe it is humanoid and we'll see if the next stuff works. Make the low poly character a child of the opposite controller and reset the transform. Okay. Let's give that a shot. So we're gonna take the low poly guy and make him a child of the opsive controller. So that's what we've done here. We've put this guy down here and then we reset the transform. Okay, so you'll see that this guy, even though his skin is over here, his origin is right under this guy, right? And that's obviously because it's just using his old bones, which are where are his old bones? They're probably over here. He's using his old bones, which are over here. But his origin and stuff is all located under this guy. Okay, step three. In the opsive animator controller, set the avatar to the low poly character's avatar. Okay, now I think we're gonna have some issues with that because I think if we change the avatar, the animations aren't gonna work, but let's give that a try. So here, we want, okay, so it's currently using the Nolan avatar. That's the HD avatar. What we want to do is use the high definition, the, the low poly avatar. So this guy's avatar is called character's avatar. It's right here. Okay, so here, let's, uh, let's pin that here. Is that how we do it? Or I guess, no, actually, I don't want to pin that. I just want to drag this thing in here. So I'm going to drag the low poly avatar into the Nolan avatar. Okay, done. Step completed. And then disable and delete the opsive mesh renders. Okay, easy enough. So we're going to turn off all this guy's mesh renders. I'll just turn off the game object. Okay, so now we've got the animator uh, right here with the character's avatar. And we also have the character skin mesh renderer as a child of the high def guy. So let's see how that goes. Okay. So it, okay, interesting. So it looks like, I mean, I'm definitely not seeing the character. He seems to be invisible. 
I see he's still standing over there. Okay, so it looks like maybe he's not moving at all. That's that's interesting. In the game view, he's not changing at all, but in the scene view, I could see like he's sort of popping out. That's probably like an LOD thing, maybe? I don't know. Um, but for whatever reason, he's not following the bones. So I don't think that was enough, unfortunately. It seems like I need to do something extra because he's still following these old bones, right? He's following the old root, and I need him to follow the new root. So I think that's why we need a, a solution in either Maya or in code. But I'm happy to have given this a try. Thank you so much for the idea. And uh, it should transfer all the animations to the low poly guy. Changing the avatar and toggling the mesh visibility. So changing the avatar and toggling the mesh visibility doesn't seem to be enough. It seems like we need to do something extra in order to get the the correct bones to be referenced by the skin mesh renderer. So I think I think we're gonna have to pause it here. The only other idea I have is what if we like create a new skin mesh renderer? It's just sort of a crazy because like maybe this one, since I copied it over, is still using the old ones. So maybe there's like a very simple solution where I just uh I create a new skin mesh renderer and then immediately it just grabs the closest bones. So maybe what I do here is I create a skin mesh renderer. I'll call this one the new renderer. Uh, so this is this is how I'm spending my lunch break today. It's been uh it's been a, it's been a long journey trying to get this guy up and running. But we're trying our best here. It's a lot of uh, a lot of steps that could go into this. All right, and then the bounds are a little bit different. But I have this new renderer here with all that stuff. Oh, and I need the materials also. So we'll just copy paste that in there. All right, so now we've got a new renderer, and I wonder how many of these. I don't want to copy paste the settings because I'm worried it'll copy paste the bones also. So maybe if I just do it manually. So it's 1.9 and 0.27. 1.9, 0.27. And then the other thing it has here is 0, 0.8 and 0. That's just 0.8. Okay, so that's sort of, this new renderer now has all the settings that the old one did, more or less. So let's see if that works. We're just trying stuff here. Okay, and that, that didn't seem to work either. Okay, but we gave it a go. We gave it a go. Um, so I think I'm going to have to go to Fiverr and talk to some more experts. Thank you so much um, for your help, uh, Nolan, uh, or for that little tip there. Uh, Ian, excuse me. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work, but it was worth a try, right? Uh, so we're, we're going to see what the experts have to say, and maybe one of them will, will know the secret trick that we're missing.